Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome to episode 82 of Pokemon Trainer Jake. Last time, I went through the Team Magma hideout, and I battled Maxi for the second time. This time, I'm going to be going through the Team Aqua hideout, since I can now get in there because I battled Team Aqua at Mount Pyre in episode 80. So, yeah, now you might notice that I do not have Caulfield or Banjo in my party, and that is because, well, they are my two newest team members, and I kind of want to give my first four team members some, some more screen time. So I decided to put Banjo and Caulfield in the PC only for this episode. I will take them back out probably in between this episode and episode 83. Uh, just for this episode, I just kind of kind of want to give them a bit of a rest and try to use my other for Pokemon. So on that note, I'm going to move Tsunami to the front because he is only one level ahead of the rest of my party, or the rest of my team. Um, now I did spray Super Repel, but I had to make, take some steps and the rest of that Super Repel was completely, it was completely worthless. So I'm going to use another one. Now the reason being, I mean, there's not a whole lot of areas where we can find wild Pokemon. It's just this area and the area on the inside here. Um, but I really do not want to find any wild Pokemon at all, so that's why... I mean, I know this, it's kind of a waste of a, of a super repel, but whatever. So, this is the Team Aqua hideout. It's a lot more impressive than Team Magma's hideout. Team Magma's hideout was literally in a cave. This hideout, it, it actually looks pretty cool. So, yeah. Anyway, su suspicious character spotted. He's obviously talking about himself. No, I'm kidding. So, he has a Pugina. Level 32. That's not going to be a problem for a Tsunami. He is 10 levels higher. Let's go ahead and use Surf, why not? And there we go. Puccina goes down. Grr, I lost it! What did you lose? I took the loss for the team, but I did my job. No, you didn't! If you, did, if you had done your job, then I, I wouldn't be here. I would have lost and you would have won. It's, it's as simple as that. Anyway, so just like a lot of other, well, almost every single uh, evil organization hideout up to like Gen 5, I think, um, there are war panels. Yeah, Team Team Rocket's hideout had war panels. Uh, Team Galactic's hideout has war panels. And so does Team Aqua. And actually, Team Agmas did not, but Team Aquas does. So you got a muscle band there. Go here. And there is actually a really awesome item that we can find in this in this place. But first, let's battle this grunt. Oh, keeping watch over the hideout bores me. I'll take you on. All right, here we go. So Carvana, thirty-two. All right, let's uh, let's go much shot because it's stab. But I think. Uh, are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Alright, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, come on! Oh man. Okay, Tsunami, you can you can maybe not. Thank you! Alright. Kavana goes down! And there we go! Oh, I lost. That's all they say when they lose. Oh, I lost. Oh, I lost it. Oh, no, I lost. Yeah, we get it. You lost. You're terrible at Pokemon. Okay, so I want to come over here because I just mentioned that there is an awesome item that can be found. And it is it gonna be, it's going to be with this puzzle. Now, I haven't done this puzzle since, I believe, my Let's Play of Pokemon Sapphire. So, I'm going to need a little bit of time. This is going to, hopefully, it's, this is not going to take me too, too, nope. It's not going to take me too long at all because here we are. Now, it looks like there's four items. This right here is not an item. This is a, this is an electrode. So it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like the uh, the electrodes you have to battle in uh, in the team in the team rocket hideout in Johto. Um, you have to you have to battle three electrodes. Uh, so we're just gonna use Mud Shot, knock down the Electro, no problem. There we go. All right, now here is another Electrode. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that great? So we'll just use Mud Shot again and knock this one down, or it's just gonna kill itself. Okay. And with that, 
So Nami is going to level up to level 43. Very nice. All right, here we have a nugget. That's nice. We can get $5,000 for that. Now this item right here. This. This is an awesome item. We got the Master Ball. That is my second Master Ball of the series. I still have the Master Ball that I got from Professor Elm. So yeah, now I have two. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, honestly, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them uh, because like I haven't really needed them for anything uh, because you can't catch legendaries normally in Poke MMO. So, yeah, I guess I'll save those for, I don't know, if I find a shiny Pokemon or something. Um, anyway, so yeah, you definitely don't want to miss that. It's one of the few times, uh, at least in the early Pokemon games, like I'm talking like the first five or six generations, where the Master Ball is not actually given to you. In every other game, like Kanto, Johto, Sinnoh, Unova, the Master Ball is physically given to you, but not in Hoenn. You actually have to go find it, which is kind of cool. That's kind of unique. Anyways, uh, so, so now we did level up there, so let's go ahead with Riker. And let's battle this guy. If you want to know the secret about our, hi our hideout, about our hideout, you have, to, you have me to beat. He's not gonna tell me anything. He's not gonna, he's not gonna tell me the secret. I know that. Because I just, because, because they, they, they always do this. These guys always do stuff like this. Alright. So. Let's go with Bullet Seed. And yeah, I kind of regret not teaching Bullet Seed to Riker sooner, but I didn't think it was going to be that good, but it obviously is because, I mean, his physical attack is just so much better than his special attack, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure. Alright. There we go. I can't win at all. No, you can't! You're absolutely right. Alright. Hey, you there! Which do you think is cooler, Team Aqua's uniform or Team Magma's? Well... The uniform that Shelly wears is sec is sexy, very sexy. Um, so I guess I would say I'm just talking about Shelly herself, not the not in general. Um, yeah, and you know what? That's actually something I wanted I wanted to mention. Like I am so jealous of Archie. I I you know he must have the best life. Seriously, uh, he's got this awesome hideout. It's so cool looking. He can he can bang Shelly whenever he wants. He, you know, he, 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 he has a mission, he knows what he's, he knows what, what he's gonna do. Um, yeah, Archie's awesome. Anyways, I lost in a cool way. Sure you did, okay. Um, now, let's go in here, and, hey, wah, I grew wary of waiting, you owe me a battle too. Wait, you were specifically waiting for me? Oh look, it's another Carvana! Yeah, I put my Acer in the front. So... That means my Acer is gonna have to... Well, actually, I'm not really too worried about this. And you know what? Even though it's not very effective, I'm gonna go for Lava Plume because, well, of the, uh, of the drought. Oh, come on, not this again! Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. All right. That was that was very fast. All right. Perfect. Tired of waiting. Lo uh, what did he say? Lost and dazed? I don't even know. Uh, anyways, we have two war panels to choose from, so let's go in this one. Where does this lead? Hmm. Leads here. Okay. Uh, before I go any further, let's just see what the other war panel leads because I don't want to uh, get too far ahead. Okay, so we just have an item here. Okay. So this is a nest ball. I think that's good for catching bug types and water types. Bug types for sure. Uh, maybe it's bug and grass types. I'm not really sure, but anyways. Okay. Here we go. Fuel supply loaded. A okay. In cruise snacks loaded. A okay. Nothing left to do but KO and pesky meddler! Sure, whatever you say, pal. Alright, so let's just go for the lava plume again. Oh, you're using hypnosis, but it missed because hypnosis' accuracy is very bad. It's like 55 or something. So there we go. 
Yep. I took a serious licking. Well, you weren't using a lick a tongue, you were using a Zubat. Your mission was to hold me up? Okay, well, you, you didn't do a very good job. Oh, man. Okay, let's uh, let's go over to Falco now. When I joined Team Aqua, the first thing I had to do, or the first thing I had to learn was how these war panels connected. Yeah, that would take some time, honestly. Anyways, another Kravana! Yeah, like I said at the beginning of the episode, I'm trying to give the other four Pokemon some more screen time, so that's why I'm switching switching out without them, you know, really leveling up. Anyways, that's gonna be, yeah, that's definitely gonna be one KO. There we go! Rough skin, that's whatever. And yeah, I was talking about thinking about the war panels, yeah. Okay. War panels, the hideout's pride and joy! You're clueless about where you are, aren't you? No, I'm not! <laughs> I'm not at all! I'm going in the right direction, I know I am. Okay. So, Zubat, this will be fine for Falco. We'll just go with Aerial Ace again. There we go. And there we go. What's wrong with you? You're not tired at all. No, I'm not! I am, uh, I'm quite confident in my stamina. Anyways, here we have... Well, this is an important, uh, character. He <laughs> got here already, did you? We underestimated you. I underestimated you! But this is it! I'm gonna cut above the grunts you've seen so far. I'm not selling for time. I'm going to pulverize you. This is the other Aqua admin. This is Matt. Not Shelly. And I was thinking about leading off with Riker, and now I wish I had. Uh, so, let's go over to Riker. And this is gonna easily be the hardest battle in this episode. Aqua Tail. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna go for Bullet Seed. Oh, yeah! Oh, okay. Two can play that game, pal. Actually. What I should do... It's actually good that I have two sacrificing Pokemon. Go over to Wobbuffet. Because, so he'll he'll knock out Wobbuffet with Poison Jab, and then I'll go over to Zigzagoon, and I'll heal, I'll heal up Tsunami. Uh, because Tsunami probably could take down the Muck, but I would like him to be at full health. Because Muck, uh, it, I mean, I don't know. I feel like this thing's got decent defense. Some sort, maybe maybe both defenses. Um, so let's uh, use a Hyper Potion on Tsunami. I think so. super probably would have been enough, but whatever. Strength, that's gonna take down Zigzagoon. Okay. And now we go back over to Tsunami. Go for a mud shot. It would be very nice once Tsunami gets Earthquake. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fine. Fine! Be that way. My shot again. Uh, yeah. He's not gonna heal, right? You're not gonna heal, are you? Please, Matt, don't heal. And let's go for Surf, just in case. Okay, good. Muck goes down. That's only the first Pokemon that I've taken out from his team. He's gonna have a yeah. I was just I didn't even get the words out. I was gonna say he he's gonna have a Golbat. Uh, Rock Slide because oh I'm dead. That's it. Tsunami's done. Uh, who do I go to? Let's go to my Acer because the Drought will boost Lava Plume. I, I really wish I had Caulfield right now, actually. <laughs> it's okay, I got this, I got this. I think. Please be a one hit, please be a one hit KO. No. Well, I tried. It's okay, uh, Falco has quick attack. Oh, what? All right, never mind. I underestimated my Acer's ability to survive. A Sharpedo! 
Let's go for Lava Plume again! I could have switched, but at least now I won't have to take damage from the switching. Um, okay. So his last two Pokemon are, are both water types. So Riker should be able to do this. Um, I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for Drain Punch, even though it's it's weaker, because that way he'll get a little bit of HP back. Unless, holy crap. Oh, oh no, rough skin, is that gonna kill me? I hope that's not gonna kill me. I used Drain Punch for a reason. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Rough skin is gonna do a little bit, but that's okay. All right, I was thinking about using Bullet Seed, but then I decided on Drain Punch so I can get some HP back. Even, you know, Sky Uppercut has 10 more power. Uh, okay, now we're gonna go for Bullet Seed. This is the first Pokemon he sent out. Oh, you're lucky it only hit twice. That didn't hit many more. Oh my gosh! Should have known that was gonna happen. Try to switch out to Riker, even though he was already in. Yeah, well, Fly would knock out Riker easily in one hit. Be four times effective. Uh. Okay. You know what? If I, no, I was gonna fly, but if I fly and then he bounces, then my fly is gonna miss. So I'll go with Aerial Ace. Aqua Tail, can I please survive that? And he didn't bounce, of course. Okay! Riker's faster, so if he bounces, that's it. But Bullet Seed should be able to knock, knock him out. All right, we, uh, we barely won that. But we won, and that's all that matters. So I lost two. Yes, you did. Hee <laughs> hee. While I was towing with you, our boss got through his preparations. Oh crap. Hee <laughs> hee. Our boss has already gone on his way to some cave under the sea. Under the sea! If you're going to give chase, you'd better search the big wide sea beyond Lily Cove. Oh yeah, and it is actually quite big. But will you find it then? Hee <laughs> hee. All right. So we are done with this place. Actually, can I use an escape rope? Is that gonna, I, am I actually gonna be allowed to escape? No, I won't. But I worked in the Team Magma hideout. Okay, anyways, we're done. We are done with the Aqua hideout and I don't have a repel spray, so hopefully I will not find any wild Pokemon, thank goodness. And we can fly. I don't wanna surf. There we go. Okay, so guys. It's weird how this happens. Like, the, 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 the surfing music was still playing. So guys, that is it for this episode. Next time on Pokemon Trainer Jake, I'm going to be heading towards, um, I'm gonna be heading towards Mosty because now that we took care of the, uh, the Team Aqua hideout, um, we can actually surf beyond Lily Cove now. There used to be like Wilmers or whatever blocking the blocking the way here, and now they're gone, so we could actually surf. So next time I'm gonna be heading towards Moss Deep. We're gonna be heading this way. Um and uh yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing next time. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you all next time on Pokemon Trainer Jake. Thanks guys for watching. We found a heart scale, nice. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.